In 2011, Tropical Storm Lee caused flooding, uh, flooding around the Newtown Creek area, and because of that flooding, a nearby Horseheads Village water well was compromised. Just today, local government officials unveiled a new filtration plant, ensuring that the area has safe and clean drinking water for years to come. WNY's Nick Quattrini was at that ribbon cutting earlier today, and he joins us live in the studio with the story. Nick? The good news, there will be plenty of clean drinking water. The better news, this multi-million dollar upgrade to the village infrastructure comes at no cost to taxpayers. The new filtration facility cost roughly $4 million, and the cost was paid for by FEMA and New York State Emergency Management Grants. Now, we cannot show you the inside of the building because our cameras were not allowed in for security purposes, but I can assure you, after seeing inside, it's very high tech. The new system ensures that water pumped from one of the village's largest wells will be clean, even if flooding threat threatens the well again, like it did in 2011. And thinking ahead a little bit more, we are also going to connect our other well, well four, to the filters so that if we in turn need more water or this shuts down or whatever the cause might be, we have a backup system that's, that's as good or better than what we currently have. The well five facility was inundated by Tropical Storm Lee. So it's no longer a groundwater supply, it was a surface water supply under the influence. So we were required by EPA to put in filtration facilities. Being a small, compact site, this technology, the upflow filtration, was perfect for it. The plant's life expectancy is around 50 years, and it treats the water for more than 12,000 people. The plant is also big enough to accommodate future upgrades or expansions. Reporting in the studio, Nick Wachurney, WNY News.